Okay, um, this is a cosplay suit for FA-18C Hornet Navy pilot. Uh, I'm wearing a CWU-27P uh, Nomex flight coverall with safety boots. And there were several pockets, especially this for the pen and for a notebook or my caps uh, that's there. Um, I'm wearing also several patches. Um, this is the wrong one. It's my name, but uh, my nickname. But this is this is supposed to be for other squadron. Um, I'm wearing a PFA 102 Diamondbacks uh, Strike Fighter Squadron. I just like the, the red uh, Diamondback Snake logo. Um, this is a flame retardant uh, suit um, and would prevent me if uh, there is a fire inside the cockpit or something like that. So yeah, so next I'm going to wear a uh, anti-G uh, suit. So this is a CSU-13. I'm gonna show you how I'm using it. Okay, uh, now I already wear it. Uh, this anti G suits prevent me, uh, a pilot actually, prevent a blackout during high G maneuver uh, by compressing the leg and through this hose, uh, there's two uh, compressors and pumping an air into my leg and abdomen to ensure the blood is actually not drained from the, from the brain. So yeah, and this is adjustable. The length, of course, you have to, to pick and choose, but the uh, tightness uh, is actually adjustable. So you can adjust um, using uh, like a lace behind, uh, from behind there's a, in the thigh and the, in the calf. And then um, this is the quick adjustment. Uh, if you are uh, required certain rooms, probably after holidays yeah so getting a bit bigger tie and you can open it up a bit rather than adjusting the whole lace okay so this is the anti g suit next is the most uh, heavy things uh, to wear is actually the integrated harness so this is the integrated harness. Uh, this is actually a custom made, not the real integrated. It's actually a CMU uh, 33, but with a wrong uh, or not correct harness. I'm using MA2 harness, torso harness, it's supposed to be like uh, other torso harness, like PCU 33 harness, integrated with this uh, CMU 33 uh, survival vest. So I have to cut a hole here to for the harness to protrude from inside. 
asking. This one is the most difficult to wear. Let me try wearing it. So they yeah, have to put down there. And you step on it. This is the harness, the parachute harness integrated with the survival vest. So inside there's a harness, a parachute harness to be tied up. Usually you have to so I already extend the harness with some fabric because the one that I bought is actually very small. Very tight. So this one is already quite tight, and you have to buckle up this one, but <laughs> it won't fit. So I'm just gonna let it be. It has to be tied very securely, so when you eject, you are not going to to be detached from your parachute. Okay, so. This one is the not the right integrated CMU33, so it's actually for either uh, helos or some other aircrew or other pilots. So there's a two, what do you call it, uh, zipper uh, clusters. So it's supposed to be one, and the real integrated one. Okay, so then you attach this LPU or life preserving unit. So this LPU is actually um, a replica of LPU 36P. So I made it myself, uh, just sew it from the right fabrics and color it just to make it close to, to the real one. The size is a bit smaller, it's okay. And the handle, actually this is my kid's marble, plastic marbles. I have to repaint in a glossy black color. And this is the pull handle of the LPU. So it's look okay. And the parachute harness or uh, a well-known cock fitting um, is I cannot find it it's very expensive and very difficult to find anyway so I replaced it with the commercial uh, seat belt commercial plane seat belt just to, uh, to attach to my ejection seat or the uh, virtual cockpit the pouch is a bit different in terms of the the form and the shape and uh, and for this one for the radio one, I I 
pull it out because it's very heavy. This one is already like more than five kilos in the, in the suit. So I have to meet myself this one because it's, um, I cannot find it. The rest I think is not proper, but yeah, look, this one is okay. Uh, it's working and uh, I think, uh, see, this is a uh, Fulton MX 991 uh, uh, U, so it's functional. And um, what else? Uh, I think that's it. The there is a there is a CRU 60P oxygen mask to regulate your connector squad connector. So, but I have to modify this with a uh, certain Pipe, uh, pipes to attach to the virtual cockpit later probably I'm gonna put some oxygen uh, concentrator or something so I can breathe through my MBU moss so yeah so this one is for the suit uh, and next one I guess <coughs> next one uh, I'm gonna wear the helmet and uh, moss okay so this one is the hgu 55 uh, p helmet uh, it's actually high g unit helmet um, and uh, and an mbu 20 so it's a military breathing unit 20 versions but i think it's non-g version so it's probably for ground crew or some some other things like a a, a big arc airplane uh, mass but this is the closest things that i can find okay so i'm gonna review the helmet later on uh with the uh, with the mask because i already modified a bit with microphone and certain stereo system connected to the headphone inside so it's really functional okay so uh, this is the HU this is the MBU 20 HU 55 and MBU 20 so the last one is of course uh, wearing the normic normic gloves this normic gloves is fire or flame retardant too protecting my hand of, uh, from fire I get a I cut a hole here just to be able to touch uh, toggle the switch push the button easily i think the real pilot also do that i saw that uh, so it's okay but yeah if not it's very difficult to touch and to feel which toggle switch or button that you are trying to press okay um it's quite heavy and quite hot i can imagine a real navy pilot will uh, it's quite difficult i guess uh, to suit themselves up before the flight so every flight I have to prepare this. I think it's quite heavy, hot, and tough to do it. But I guess that it it was meant to protect them in the land of sea uh, for survival. So yeah.